probably one of the best captains I've ever coached. Not probably, he is one of the best captains I've ever coached at Colgate. A captain both his junior and senior years, consecutive years, which is very rare in college hockey and certainly at Colgate. I was overwhelmed with how one person could motivate. We get in anywhere between 60 and 80 athletes in the summer um, and how that one person motivated the, that entire group of athletes. That mindset everybody else looked at and said, wow, this guy's training. Wow, this guy's getting stronger. Wow, this, no one, nothing is going to stop this guy. He is everything that you want in a student athlete. You know, he just made the guys around him better. And I think, uh, you know, that's a great quality for, for any leader to have. And uh, Spiro certainly had that. So how long have I known uh, Spee, Spiro? Uh, probably when he was about this tall. Spiro, Spiro Galakis is probably one of the best captains I've ever coached. Not probably, he is one of the best captains I've ever coached at Colgate. Galakis midpoint, last to the score! Spiro Galakis, a screenshot goal right as the power play expires and Colgate has a 2-1 lead. Well, basically playing major triple A, that's when I started getting exposure to colleges, Division I. Uh, primarily, and then that's kind of where you pick where you want to go, whether it be college or major junior, and then played four years of juniors and finally got an offer from Colgate. Well, he was just a little scrawny kid way back in the day. Um, we got him in the gym, we got him to start eating a little bit more, we got him to start picking up heavy shits as we say. I put on 20-25 pounds since going into the freshman until now, so I mean, as far as that your body gets to mature. And, and I think just in building his confidence, and again we know that the mindset and the athletic development they go hand in hand. It culminated this year where uh, I guess yeah, knowing that his career was moving on to the next level, he realized that, wait a minute, I better really get it done this year. And I put him with some pro hockey players in the beginning and I think he understood uh, the work ethic that it takes to get to that next level. The cancer um, was a hu had a huge impact on our team. Yeah, uh, total shock. Didn't know exactly how things were going to play out. It was Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, I mean, it's, they say it's one of the best ones to get if you're going to get one. But the more educated I got on uh, what I've been diagnosed with and stuff, the more comfortable I was with it to a certain extent and kind of knew that things would be okay. That was an attitude that Spiro took with him and into the locker room and shared with our guys. And, you know, heck, you know, the guy played um, in games uh, in between his chemotherapy treatment. So I think that probably tells you all you need to know about, you know, the character of this young man. Well, after the first two treatments, I still kind of felt good and had pretty good energy and that kind of thing. So it hadn't taken a toll on me. And that's when I asked my doctor, I'm like, look, like I feel pretty good. If I keep feeling this way, I can't maybe play any game. I was overwhelmed with how one person could motivate. We get in anywhere between 60 and 80 athletes in the summer, um, and how that one person motivated the, that entire group of athletes on his own, just by his work ethic, just by his per perseverance and saying, like, you know what, this is not going to hold me back. I'm going to push through and I'm going to make the best of this situation. So that mindset everybody else looked at and said, wow, this guy's training. Wow, this guy's getting stronger. Wow, this, this, no one, nothing is going to stop this guy. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the senior class award is one of the most prestigious awards uh, given to uh, college athletes, and Spiro won that award for for Division One hockey, and and it was very deserving. I, I mean, 
you know, he, he is everything that you want in a student athlete. I'm mad who just won the senior award of all NCAA athletes. That was definitely humbling, but I mean, it's not just a testament to me, it's a testament to being part of a special group that I was fortunate to be a part of. You know, it was a privilege to me to see that progression and see how he's evolved over the years. Yeah, I was part of a great, uh, a great class and a great team that kind of helped round myself out, so I kind of benefited from being you know, at the head of such an elite group. I mean, that's what the award speaks to, his character, his academics, the fact that he stuck with it for, for four years and, and really led uh, our program to, you know, to new levels. And, uh, you know, it, it's an award that, uh, that I don't think anybody was more deserving of, of winning than, than Spiro and couldn't be more proud. And, and uh, I just can't wait to see what's next for Spiro. We'll be following him, uh, following his career as he, as he moves on to the professional ranks. So uh, just great that we had him for four years at Colgate University. Well, now it's give it a shot in the American League and then go from there. So here I go with my shot, feet fail me.